Welcome to our noon devotion. Whether you are watching live or streaming later, we're glad you are with us. You are among friends. You are not alone. A few announcements as we begin. In our heart and our prayers, we continue to hold this week Paul and Gail McKim, Joy Sutliff, Kathy Shirk and family, Steve Sablone, Ryan Noyes, and John Hopman. Live stream devotions continue at noon, Monday through Friday. Hold an evening prayer live at Wednesday at 7.30, singing with Miss Sarah Thursday at 6.15, and Sunday worship at 9 a.m. A reminder that in the event that Berks County transitions to green, we will have our first outdoor worship service together on July 5th. It will be at the pavilion. You will need to bring chairs, and we will follow social distancing practices. Masks must be worn the entire time. If there is inclement weather, the service will be on Facebook only. We will attempt to live stream outside for folks who are not ready or not able to gather with us on those days. That being said, it will be a little different than broadcasting from the sanctuary, so please bear with us as we continue to connect and reach out to you all the best that we can. Today's reading is from Isaiah, the 40th chapter. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is an everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Today is day 30, if you are keeping track, of the Runner's World running streak. On Memorial Day, the streak began and runners near and far, young and old, were invited to run at least one mile each day for 41 days straight. Basically, it's running one mile a day each day between Memorial Day and July 4th. So yeah, today's a big day, day 30, and I have run at least one mile every day since Memorial Day. This running streak has been a thing for Runner's World for years, but it's the first time that I've given it a shot. And while it's nice to see the greater running community post about streaking, it's even nicer to get texts of encouragement from friends and family who are doing it as well. We often compare the heat and humidity in Pennsylvania and New Hampshire, and we encourage each other to get out there and get her done before the day gets away from us. Thank you, Laura and Amanda, for your texts of encouragement and sweat. The text from my sister yesterday read, less than two weeks left, and it contained a picture of this cover that she too is using to keep track of running every day. I have to tell you that while I'm excited to attain this goal of completing this streak, there's a smaller thing that I've noticed that is happening on my recovery days. Those days that I just simply run just one mile to keep the streak going. And on those days, I've decided to do it and not keep track or record that mile in any way. So it's without a watch, it's without my phone to track my pace or anything like that. And if you are a runner or you know a runner, it's similar to if a tree falls in the woods and no one's there, do you hear it? If a runner goes on a run and doesn't log their run or post it on social media, does it even count? It does count. It counts big time. I have been able to step out on a Thursday or a Sunday morning and just go out and come back. No paces to hit, no worries about going too quickly or too slowly, just going out for a run. Those days may be my new favorites, just running for the pure joy of running. It's pretty amazing. Now don't worry, for all of you non-runners, I got you. This may not be your jam in any way, shape, or form. This may sound ridiculous to you, let alone downright crazy. But I'll wager to say that there is something that you do that brings you joy. Something, a hobby, a craft, an activity that feeds your body and your soul because you take the time to do it. Sometimes those activities take on a life of their own and we worry about how well we are doing them rather than just enjoying doing them. My watch-free run days have reminded me of the simplicity of the sport of running. You, you may want to take a look at something that you do and find a way to simplify the way you do it. 
to peel back the layers and find the simple joy that comes with that one thing. Maybe it's doing a puzzle without timing yourself. I know, it sounds crazy. Maybe it's trying a new meal without following the exact recipe. Maybe it's going out to play a sport you used to play in school, but now just for fun. Maybe it's creating a gift for someone just because you want to. Maybe it's walking around the house with your camera for some fun pictures. Maybe it's a new style of art or a new song on an old instrument. Who knows? Remember why you are passionate about something, why you do the things that you do, and rekindle that childlike joy that comes along with it. It will do a body and a soul and a heart a world of good. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for simple things that bring us joy. Thank you for the time in our lives to do things that bring joy to us and to others. Remember us in your kingdom as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now receive God's blessing. May the God of all steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another. May you depart from evil and do good. May you seek peace and pursue it. And may you go from this gathering wrapped in God's grace now and forever. Amen.